May June 2002, question number one. One end of a light elastic string of natural length 1.6 meters and modulus velocity 25 newtons is attached to a fixed point A. A particle P of mass 0.15 kg is attached to the other end of the string. P is held at rest at a point 2 meters vertically below A and is then released. Let's set up the diagram first. We have a fixed point A and one end of a light elastic string is attached to this fixed point and the other end is attached to a particle P. The particle P is at 2 meters below the fixed point A. And this light elastic string has a natural length of 1.6 meters, which means that this string is stretched by 0.4 meters. Let's assume that the natural length of the string is somewhere around here, which is 1.6 meters from here to here. This length is 1.6 meters. So this would be 0 0.4 meters, which is nothing but the extension. Now, the first part of the question says, for the motion from the instant of release until the string becomes slack, find the loss of elastic potential energy and the gain in gravitational potential energy. Let's have a look at the motion of the particle when P is released from rest from this point. As it is already stretched and it is then released, this will obviously go up. The motion of this particle P is towards point A and at this point when it first comes to this point the string will become slack that is when it will first become slack let's write this as the final point and this as the initial point now to find the loss of elastic potential energy, we need to consider the elastic potential energy at this point as well as this point. Let me write the elastic potential energy at the initial point. Elastic potential energy at initial point is equal to the formula for elastic potential energy is half into modulus of elasticity upon natural length into the extension square. For this string in the question, the modulus of elasticity is 25 Newton, natural length is 1.6 meters. And the extension is quite obvious, it is 0 0.4 meters. So the elastic potential energy at this initial point would be half into 25 upon 1.6 into 0 0.4 square. After you calculate, you should be getting 1.25 joules. Elastic potential energy at the final point, EPE, at final point is equal to same formula but the extension of the string will be zero as 1.6 meters itself is the natural length of the string and so this would just be zero anything multiplied by zero is zero change in EPE is equal to final minus initial which is 1.25 minus 1.25 joules but since the question was asking for the loss we don't need to write the minus sign minus sign just indicates that energy has been lost while giving out the answer you just need to write loss and elastic potential energy is equal to 
1.25 joule. If they ask for change in elastic potential energy, then we write minus 1.25 joule. Now the next part. Find the gain in gravitational potential energy. There are two approaches for this. One is by considering this as the ground level or considering this as the ground level. Either this or this. But in our case, considering this would be an easier way of finding the gravitational potential energy. So, the particle has moved 0.4 meters from the ground level. I'm considering this as the ground level. So, it has moved 0.4 meters from here. So, GPE is MGH and mass is 0.15 kgs gravity is 10 and height is 0.4 meters we should be getting 0.6 joules this is the first part of the question now for the second part hence find the speed of the particle p at the instant the string first becomes slack let's have a look at the diagram again at this instant we know that the string first becomes slack in order to find the speed of the particle at this point we will be using law of conservation of energy which means that total energy at this point will be equal to total energy at this point we'll be writing the energies at the initial point which is half mv square kinetic energy plus the elastic potential energy at that point plus the gravitational potential energy at that point uh, the speed at the initial point is zero so this will be zero elastic potential energy found from the first part it should be 1.25 joule plus gravitational potential energy at the initial point is zero because we're considering this as ground level and the height of the particle at this point is zero so the total energy at initial point is 1.25 joules now the total energy at the final point will be a kinetic energy plus elastic potential energy plus gravitational potential energy. Elastic potential energy at final point is zero and kinetic energy is unknown which we have to find. And gravitational potential energy we have found from the first part which is 0 0.6 joule equating the energies we should be getting this equation 1.25 is equal to half mv square plus 0 0.6 solving for v 1.25 minus 0 0.6 times 2 divided by the mass which is 0 0.15 under root will be v we should be getting v as 2.94 meters per second